Amid a troubling rise in coronavirus infections in the U.S., President Donald Trump telling his campaign rally in Tulsa Saturday night. I said to my people, slow the testing down, please. The comments have alarmed medical experts who have long said widespread testing is critical to stopping the spread of COVID-19. When you do testing to that extent, you're going to find more people, you're going to find more cases. A Trump aide calling the remarks tongue-in-cheek and a light moment. You know, it was tongue-in-cheek. Did the Come president... On Come on now. That was tongue-in-cheek. 60 seconds into, into a tongue-in-cheek thing. It, but was, it was a light moment. Did the president they, it was a light 120, moment 120,000 almost Americans are dead. That was a light dead. moment for him in a uh, rally. Well, Another Trump administration official blamed frustration. I think that what you see, what you heard from the president was frustration. We've tested over 25 million Americans. We've tested more than any other country in this world. Uh, instead, the press and others, all they want to focus on is an increasing uh, case count. Top Democrat Nancy Pelosi says in a statement, the president's efforts to slow down desperately needed testing to hide the true extent of the virus mean more Americans will lose their lives. So far, the virus has killed nearly 120,000 people in the U.S. One of the country's leading public health experts telling Fox News the president's rally in Tulsa has the potential to become a super spreader event. We have seen in the past few months around the world that indoor gatherings have been the source of most super spreading events. This is what Buddy was challenged on whether there was some hypocrisy among health officials who didn't express the same concerns when there were tens of thousands of people taking to the streets in nationwide protests. I do worry that they are an opportunity for spread. I think it's a little bit, it, or even a, more than a little bit different than having a large indoor gathering. We know that outdoor risks are less than indoor risks. On Saturday, eight states set records for single-day confirmed cases since the pandemic began. That's according to the Washington Post. And daily new infections across the country surpassed 30,000 on both of the past two days. For City News, I'm Karen Siolin.